This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at how to calculate empirical formula from percent composition. Let's look at an example. An organic compound contains 62% carbon, 13.9% hydrogen, and 24.1% nitrogen by mass. Determine its empirical formula. The first step is to assume that we have 100 grams of the compound. So these percentages can be taken as masses in grams. So in 100 grams of the compound, we have 62 grams of carbon, 13.9 grams of hydrogen, and 24.1 grams of nitrogen. The second step is to convert from mass in grams to amount in moles. To do this, we'll divide the mass in grams by the molar mass. So for carbon, it's 62 grams divided by 12.01. For hydrogen, it's 13.9 grams divided by 1.01. .01. And for nitrogen, it's 24.1 grams divided by 14.01. .01. This gives us 5.16 moles of carbon, 13.8 moles of hydrogen, and 1.72 moles of nitrogen. The next step is to divide each amount in moles by the smallest value. So for carbon, we divide 5.16 by 1.72. For hydrogen, it's 13.8 divided by 1.72. And for nitrogen, it's 1.72 divided by 1.72. This gives us 3 for carbon, 8 for hydrogen, and 1 for nitrogen. And finally, we write the empirical formula, which is C3H8N. Next, we'll determine the molecular formula of the compound. So here we're told that the molar mass of the compound is 116.24 grams per mole. The first step is to determine the mass of the empirical formula. So the empirical formula had three carbon atoms, eight hydrogen atoms, and one nitrogen atom. If we add these up, we get a mass of 58.12. Next, we divide the molar mass by the mass of the empirical formula. So that's 116.24 divided by 58.12, which gives us two. The final step is to multiply the empirical formula by two. So that's two times three for the carbon, two times eight for the hydrogen, and two times one for the nitrogen. And this gives us the molecular formula, which is C6H16N2. Let's look at one more example. An organic compound contains 49.2% carbon, 6.95% hydrogen, and 43.85% oxygen by mass. Determine its empirical formula. So just like in the previous example, we'll treat these percentages as masses. So we have 49.20 grams of carbon, 6.95 grams of hydrogen, and 43.85 grams of oxygen. We then convert to amount in moles by dividing by the molar mass, which gives us 4.10 moles of carbon, 6.88 moles of hydrogen, and 2.74 moles of oxygen. The next step is to divide each amount in moles by the smallest value, which is 2.74. And this gives us 1.50 for carbon, 2.51 for hydrogen, and 1 for oxygen. Empirical formulas can only contain whole numbers. So we need to multiply each of these numbers by two to get three for carbon, five for hydrogen, and two for oxygen. And here we have the empirical formula, which is C3H5O2. 